position This place is so uncomfortable Taking much longer Than I signed up for Watch this level Just when it seemed There was nothing more for me God says it's the King of glory But what if God's plan for divine intervention is this tension and the plot twist in every scene God uprooting weeds so we can heal what if your worst nightmare is God's dream and this momentary affliction what your inner man needs to carry with zeal an eternal weight of glory what if your undoing is your becoming? Your breakthrough bound in Elohim and the only way out of this striving, standing still. Fact check. Yes, the prince of Persia is still out there trying to intercept truth. Not everything you ask for is what you were meant to get. So what if your unanswered prayers and God's seeming disconnect really is just a signal that maybe you need to reconnect? But never mind me though. Keep doing your thing. I see you over there and I see you and I see you over there waiting on your king. But the thing is, the king of kings is waiting on you too. And this transition you've been parked in will never start accelerating till you stop breaking up out of fear. Shift your gear and begin to live and move like you know the King of Glory, Emmanuel, is here. Shift your gears. The King of Glory, Emmanuel, is very much here today in the midst of your struggle, in the midst of your worry, in the midst of the paradox called life. He is in the mix. So, regardless of what you are going through, submit to what the King of Kings wants to do because when he is through you will shine radiant like the sun you will show forth his glory when in you his will is done you see when the king of glory comes all your mundane becomes undone when he fills you with his son your past will be erased you will look like his face radiating like the one who from the dead was raised will you embrace the grace to face with faith this unfamiliar place remember that discomfort often precedes groaning so as creation bears witness to your sonship unfolding also bear in mind that sometimes what feels like crushing really is crowning it is written that godliness with contentment is great gain so rest assured there is wholeness on the back end of pain there is a bountiful harvest at the end of rain and muscles for your lifting at the end of this strain so what so what if they all said no and no one answered your on the door so what if God says my daughter my son just wait a little more when according to your biological clock it's already kind of late would you be able to trust God and hope against all odds to replicate Abraham's fate what would you do if I told you that God wants you to cast your net again Shoot your shot, buy that stock, apply for that position, submit your application. Would you release the net for sick, paralyzed in regret? Yes, 
God does not suffer from forgetfulness. So yes, he remembers and was fully in control that time you lost on the investment, got overlooked for the promotion. Even those times you were denied the loan, put out the home and left in the friend zone. So just do it. Just do it. Cast your net again. Believing that you, your latter, will be greater than your former. Just do it. Cast your net again, but this time with some faith in your amens. Believe in God's word. Your latter will be greater than your former. After all, did not David slay Goliath without Saul's armor? And did not Howard Gideon overtake an army? And did not a barren and aging woman give birth to a bouncing baby is there anything hard for God tell me just one thing if you think you're bad because I've come today for all of you who dwell in doubt and out here talking all kinds of crazy out your mouth you who've been counting and weighing your resources and trying to make that dollar so that God's promises can make more sense in God's providence dollars aren't made from sense but obedience asked the disciples before whose eyes they saw a fish become an ATM. Just do it. Cast your net again. Will you let God be true and every man a liar? Like you believe in your heart, his word will never retire till it accomplishes all he desires. Though sin paid us death, Jesus purchased for us abundant life and in Christ's life there is no more dying just rising so lift your faith and raise your expectations for when the king of glory comes and on earth his will is done it will look like a glorious transition from sinner to saint from disciple to teacher from beggar to blesser from shortage to surplus from dead last to foster from jealous to joyful from barren to pregnant with babies in the carriage from single to married from dead to living when the king of glory comes it will look like a glorious transition and will you be the one who will let his will be done remember sometimes what looks like crushing really is crowning will you be the one to testify when he comes from surplus to surplus from dead last to force record broker true